use your God power to get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. Number f question number four. Accidents and coincidences can be described as A. Outcomes that you didn't expect. B. A normal function of resonance. C. Outcomes whose cause you don't recognize or realize. Or D. All. Yep. It's D again. Accidents and coincidences can be described as outcomes that you didn't expect. When something breaks or falls down or you bump into somebody, you didn't expect that. That's why you call it an accident. Or you're talking to somebody in line, it turns out you've known them or you both know the same people or both went to the same school or whatever. You say, wow, what a coincidence. That's an outcome you didn't expect. So yeah, they can be considered outcomes that you didn't expect. And B, the normal function of resonance? <laughs> Absolutely. It's just resonance in action. It's no different than any other elicited response by resonance. The only difference between an accident and a coincidence, as far as resonance goes, is it's one you didn't expect. If you put an ad in the paper for something and somebody calls you on your ad, that's resonance. That attracted a response, but you don't think that that's an accident that they called you. You don't think it's a coincidence they called you because you expected that outcome. That, that comes down to C here, outcomes whose cause you didn't recognize or realize. If you put an ad in the paper, you would recognize or realize why you got that response. But if you didn't put an ad in the paper and somebody happened to call you up looking for that item, you'd say, wow, <laughs> that's a coincidence. I do have something like that for sale. See? How that works? But it's still just resonance. It's still just a normal function of resonance, and it's an outcome whose cause you didn't recognize and whose outcome you didn't expect. So the answer is D, all. Okay, question number five. You can get rid of unwanted vibrations by A using your God power to change it. B, the mutual exclusion technique. C, change the bad vibration idea into a good one. Or D, all. Well, we just covered that one. <laughs> the answer is definitely D, all. In fact, those are the three ways you can get rid of unwanted vibrations. You can use your God power by just changing the meaning of it. You can use a mutual exclusion technique by, instead of the one vibration or the one selection, the one thing that, that you don't want, then focus on its opposite or a different selection. And by focusing on that and concentrating and eliciting that, you automatically stop eliciting, stop vibrating and uh, resonating with the other. And of course, change the bad vibration idea into a good one. That, it, that simply means that what you're fearing a move or a change in your job or getting divorced or getting married or whatever it may be, change it to be a good thing instead of a bad thing that you're worried about. Instead, consider that it's a good thing. And by considering that, suddenly, first of all, you're not attracting it as much because you're not worrying about it. But by thinking it's a good thing, you start realizing that maybe it is. Number one, but also you can see a lot more options and ideas it might go another direction, but you can only see options and ideas from a positive place. If you're worrying about it, you can't see options and ideas 
solutions and opportunities because solutions and opportunities do not resonate with worry. Worry does not elicit them into view. If you worry about something, you can't think of options and solutions and opportunities. They don't come to mind. But if you say, hey, hold it, things are working out. They're always working out. What could be good about this situation? What What's good about it? What What can we do? And as you say, hey, this might be a good idea, and then suddenly options, opportunities, and solutions come to mind. So yes, the answer is D, all. You can get rid of unwanted vibrations by using your God power to change them by the mutual exclusion technique or change the bad vibration idea into a good one. Options. Now activating the next video, play options. One moment please. Click on the green arrow to start watching the next video. Or, click on the red arrow to start watching the prior video. Or, click on the tan arrow to go to the main course menu and guide. With links to all course chapters, excerpts, and special reports. Up next, special video options. Click on your choice of course videos, menus, and excerpts. Now switching to the special video options menu and activating the video selection buttons. Click on your selection number to start watching the video. Fifteen seconds till we switch to the next page with a free download information. Pause the video now if you need more time to review the available selections. This is the end of this course video. Its video number is listed above. To watch the next video, simply click on the next video in number sequence. Thank you.